What is the near impossible Diablo fight that the developers were forced to remove? In Diablo 1, there was originally an item called the Map of the Stars that was obtained in a chest after slaying the bastard betrayer known as the Archbishop Lazarus. The map itself would show a strange lunar cycle that doesn't make too much sense upon acquiring it. Returning to town, however, it's then Kane would do his big reveal speech of Diablo's imminent return and warn of Diablo's power that was building. Our time is running short. I sense his dark power building, and only you can stop him from attaining his full might. After entering Terra's domain, the quest would activate, and you have one hour to defeat Diablo before he reaches full power. Failing to do so, the planets would then align over time, and the star would turn blood red, and a cutscene of Diablo restored at full power would play. <laughs> And trust me, you do not want that. I am sure that you tried your best, but I fear that even your strength and will may not be enough. Diablo is now at the height of his earthly power, and you will need all your courage and strength to defeat him. May the light protect and guide you, my friend. I will help in any way that I am able. So why was it removed? According to Gamesearch.com, the map of the stars was originally a key component to Diablo 1. The map is actually the only removed quest that Blizzard has confirmed for the original title. Blizzard said that the map was removed because it changed the entire game and how it was played, and ruined part of the game emphasis and environment, which is actually understandable having played it. It's incredibly easy to ruin a run by taking too much time, and Diablo is nigh impossible to beat. He will flat out stomp you as soon as the time runs out. However, it should be noted that restarting the game does actually reset the timer. Furthermore, Blizzard has actually acknowledged the map's existence officially as Map of the Stars is a quest item in Diablo 3. Of course, it's only available during the Darkening of Tristram event, but if you own Diablo 1 and are a complete masochist, the restored quest is now playable thanks to the Beelzebub mod which is linked in the description below. And to see the full lore play of the quest, Click the link on screen.